Do you remember about five months ago when our president went on stage and said, if you're holding dollars, then the price is going to go down to 120, 115. If you've forgotten it, here it is. For the people who work numbers, I am giving you free advice that those of you who are holding dollars, you surely might go into losses. You better do what you must do because this market is going to be different in a couple of weeks. Five months later, what's the price of dollars again? 145, 150 in some places. And this is the reason why. Any time that the rate of exchange between the Kenya shilling and the dollar changes, the central bank, and the treasury are able to increase or change the supply of dollars in the market. Now, this has been happening for so many years, and the reason why it happens is to cushion the economy. But what has this government done? They removed that. That's the first reason why our Kenya shilling and the dollar is currently at 147, 150. But secondly, any time that you take a loan from IMF, you're taking it in dollars and you will be repaying them in dollars. That essentially tells you that there's going to be a huge demand for the dollars that we, we don't produce dollars, we produce Kenya shillings. So we do our production in Kenya shillings, but our repayment is in dollars. But what's worse is any facility that we take with the IMF, any organization outside like the World Bank, all these places, we take it at a higher interest rate than what we can be able to afford. And so we spiral on. Right now we take a loan at 150, but in two, three months time when it's 170 and we need to repay back, we will be paying more. Where is the economic activity being done that will enable us to earn enough to return the principal and to return the interest. And the sad part is there isn't enough happening to be able to get that. Because even the industries that would be earning us dollars, which are our export industries, they are being interfered with by the political class. Now that's something for you to think about.